That's fairly interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Well, actually, let me turn the sound on a bit because that is extremely loud. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So yeah, guys. What is up, guys? Yeah, guys. Hey, guys. What is up, guys? <laughs> All right. So get your damn intro right, Firefly. All right, so yeah, what is up, guys? Y'all know your boy Firefly here, and this is Stick RPG 2. And to answer your guys' long-awaited question, if you guys what, were here to watch me at the end of Stick RPG 1, this is the director's cut. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing everything in this game, and not just like the regular Flash version. I actually got this game like 80% off on Steam, so I got it for like uh, four dollars. Is that 80% of 80% off of 20? Yeah, that's yeah, that's four dollars. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna start a new game right about now. And the game's not in full screen right now, so I'm gonna change that when I get to the game. And I have to wait until I get into the game to change that, so, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this is where you get to choose your, uh, your stick figure. Uh, so the name of said stick figure is Firefly. And just like in the last game, we're gonna make him an intelligent fella. Oh, it already basically knows what I want. Except, okay, let's... Let's make me a little bit not ugly, so I'm not too self-conscious about myself. I mean, look, looking at this guy, it's just like, ugh, really? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, uh, and it doesn't make a difference if I roll. No matter what I roll, I'm going to get uh, 35 points each time. So, yeah, it's not like the first game where you can just keep rolling and get like a ridiculously high number to start out with, so, yeah. Okay, so your special ability, you can either choose photographic memory, which gives you plus intelligence when you, uh, when you do uh, things that boost your intelligence, so you get more intelligence when you do like things like going to school. You get plus charm when, or more charm than you normally would when you drink or smoke. Beefcake, you get more strength when you do things like working out. And then Wall Street Wizard, Wizard, yeah, Wall Street Lizard, yeah. Wall Street Wizard is you get better interest rank at the bank, and this is the one I'm probably gonna choose to be honest, because at a certain point when you have like a lot of money in the bank, uh. Like, the amount of interest you get and the amount of money you get from the interest, it, it actually, like, m matters a lot. So, you know, with more money in this game, you buy more things, so that's just the way it works. Workaholic, you get bonus money from good jobs. Warped Mind, you get bonus money from bad jobs. So, the difference between good jobs and bad jobs is, like, a good job would be, like, for example, uh, a doctor. And then, evil job would be, like, a bounty hunter. And there you can be a bounty hunter in this game if you really want to. And then, socially awkward interpretive dancer. Minus charm, minus intelligence, minus strength, but your character moonwalks everywhere. So, basically your character walks backwards, but you get like a huge dedu deduction of, on everything. So, I'm going to choose Wall Street Wizard just because my interest can get uh, bigger. But that, that, was the, that was the best grammar I've ever done, ever. That was, that was the goodest grammar I've ever had, ever. Yeah, I'm going to get... I don't even remember what I said, so whatever. My interest rate is going to be higher than it normally would, so I'm going to choose Wall Street Wizard. So, yeah, let's move on. It seems like eons ago, that afternoon in which you lazily drifted off, awakening only to become aware of your new existence in an unfamiliar dimension. Seven years have passed since that day. The last thing you can remember is falling asleep inside your castle, ruler of the two-dimensional world. You wonder where you are now. Is this limbo? You feel weightless, bodiless, drifting gently through the e through the ether. You reason that it must have all been a dream, or a dream within a dream. Is that a dream? But where are you now? Has it really been seven years since you entered that strange dimension? Once again, you feel your perceptions warped and twist as time and space bend before your very eyes. Suddenly, a familiar sensation rushes to your head. You are falling. Okay, so yeah, this is a uh, stick RPG two. G G uh, this is stick RPG two, and we are having a little talk with tutorial Ted. Whoa, that was some fall. You must have just come from the two dimensional world, am I right? This here is the two point five dimensional world. So things look a little different, but as with all parallel universes, things are kind of similar too. I know it's a lot to take in, but you're stuck here in paper-thin city till you find a way home. So yeah, 
these two options basically if you choose this one you get a negative karma to start and if you choose this one you get a positive karma to start wow well, so i'm stuck here forever yeah so looks that way well i suppose you have to start somewhere here take this key you can stay in my basement until you get your bearings it's the building right behind me oh and here's a couple bucks to get to start you off talk to me again if you want to know some more all right we'll do okay first things first let me adjust the screen so i can actually so i don't just like uh go crazy Let's increase the sound a little bit yeah what happens if i bring the quality to ultra i don't really see that much of a difference let's just Nah, I don't see that much of a difference. You know, I'll just put it on Ultra anyway, just because probably, uh, when I, uh, when I resize the screen, because there's a bunch of black bars on the side of my computer right now that you guys probably don't see, because I'm going to be fixing that later. And also, one more thing, I need to, uh, make an account right now. Let's save. Oh, no, there it is, okay. <laughs> it just took a while to load. Alright, so we're good. So yeah, welcome to Stick RPG 2, guys. I hope you are excited about this as I am, because I actually get to play the Director's Cut, and I've actually never played the Director's Cut before, so that's cool. The only advice I can give you would to be find Professor Ansel. He was running some strange research lab, but now he teaches over at the university. He knows a thing or two about this dimensional business. Thanks for the info. Goodbye, friend, and good luck out there. Giovanni's Bakery is amazing. The pecan pie is magnificent. I heard that they finally finished all that construction just past the casino. Have you been over there yet? Yeah, so basically that's just saying, like, you know, I bought the director's cut. Check it. I got some helpful hints for noobs like you. First of all, you can hold down the shift key to run, or a skateboard if you have one. Keep talking and you can learn more. You need more strength, charm, intelligence if you want to get anywhere in Paper Thin City. You can increase your strength by hitting the gym or by fighting. And, they, well, I mean, let me explain to the audience what what's going on here. Okay, so yeah. If you haven't seen me watch, uh, or if you haven't seen me play Stick RPG 1, well, even if you have watched me play Stick RPG 1, it's, it's, well, I mean, the basic ideas are basically the same, but, you know, it's, uh, it, it's different. Trust me. But, I mean, the basic ideas are the same, but, you know, there's a lot of different stuff, obviously. Can I still talk to these gangsters from all the way over here? Talk to the boss. Where's the boss? So these are West Side gangsters. If I could just get over there, maybe I could find the boss, but whatever. And here's a stick box over here. Maybe I can get a jab. And this guy can offer me a job also right now. What you want to do? Want to be a hacker, code cracker, slacker, wasting time with all the chat room yackers? Well, you came to the right guy, assuming you got a laptop. Okay, Morpheus, show me how it's done. You gotta be willing to break the rules, friend. Requires 70 intelligence, negative karma, and a crack book. So, I currently have 20 intelligence right now, and I have a positive karma, right? Yeah, my karma's at 20. And I have $100. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I can get a job right here at uh, the stick box right now, though. Did you see your help wanted sign? I'm looking for a job. You're hired. Now, wasn't that easy? You've earned the title of Stick Buccaneer, and your salary is $5 an hour. Work. You wipe tables and swept the floor. Pretty sure I worked more than an hour, but I still only got $5. So occasionally, this isn't just like the first game where you just work and you get money. Sometimes something good will happen where you like, oh, you're a customer tipped you like $100 or something like that. Or, uh, you know, you spill, you accidentally, uh, Drop a customer's drink all over their face, so they sued you, <laughs> or something crazy like that. Because that can actually happen in this game, unlike the first game. Alright, so yeah, um, I just wanted to basically show you guys just that so far. Hello, sir, how can I help you today? Okay, so yeah, uh, so food can do a variety of things in this game. Car car coffee gives you health and charm. The overpriced baked good. I'm pretty sure that's a croissant. But yeah, it just gives you 5 HP. The fancy coffee is $35, so no thank you. And then here's the gym. You can fight people right here if you really want to. They don't call me the shed for nothing. I want to fight the shed. 
And the thing with fights also is that you don't have an option to decline. Hold on, let me turn it down. That was kind of loud. Okay, well, when you talk to a character that that you have the, well, I won't even say it, the option of fighting because if you do click on them, you have to fight them. Like you don't have a choice. There's even like a joke between a uh, that I uh, remember from uh, me playing this uh, game in the past, where I clicked on a. Uh, person that I could have that I have the option of finding oh I kicked his ass I got a plus nine strength so I uh, fought someone that I had the option of or I, t I clicked on someone that I had the that I that I entered a mutual combat with and he said like you know you just clicked on the wrong dude man <laughs> and then yeah so you I don't know why they made it like that but they did Brucey. Muscle milk, HGH, protein, power bars. And then you can pr uh, pay $20 to work out. So I'm actually going to do that right now. Yeah. And then, so yeah, I got plus nine strength from that one fight uh, earlier. And yeah. So there's certain things that you can do that, uh, to boost your stats that you don't even necessarily have to do it like the, like the main way to do it. Like the main way to gain your strength up is to just flat out work out. But yeah. Can I actually buy a skateboard right now? Okay, skateboards are $325, so I don't have quite enough yet. Can I become a... Oh, yeah. So you can actually become a... If you actually really wanted to, you could become a professional skater if you really if you wanted that. You just need a skateboard and... What else do you need? Requires a skateboard and 40 charm. Sponsorship? No way, Brohim. Let me be blunt. You have no style. That's all. It's all about the execution, son. You gotta make it look good. So you can ask for a sponsorship for this guy, and he will give it to you if you get 40 charm and a skateboard. So I can go to this laundromat right now. Gossip girl. Well, hello, darling. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard so much about the new bachelor in town. So tell me, do you want the lowdown on who is available in paper thin? I have all the info on the single ladies around town. So Tiffany is single. Tragically, her last boyfriend cheated on her. She's a girl that likes a man with some muscle, so you better hit the gym if you want to impress her. Is that all I can click on? Or... Okay, well, there's there's three there's three like women because you can actually like marry someone in this game. So there's three women in this game. One of them is attracted to guys that work out, which is Tiffany, as the girl you just saw over there. Uh. The other one is attracted to, you know, it basically each girl is attracted to the, to each, uh, to each stat. So Tiffany's attracted to strength, uh, one of the girls is attracted to intelligence, and the other girl's attracted, attracted to charm. I'm sure, I sure can fancy a sledgehammer mighty nice. Just bring you here the materials, you see. Okay, so this guy wants a sledgehammer, and I unfortunately do not have that. You hear they you hear they finally caught that Nigerian prince? I hear he's looking for bail money, like anyone would ever bail that lunatic out. See, so yeah, I can actually go to the pizza place right now, actually. Yo, you wanna deliver some pizzas for me? Doesn't pay much, but the tips are okay. Sorry, bro. We do have some standards. <laughs> so I need twenty five charm in order to get a job here. Oh, and also I forgot about this. When you uh, buy food in this game, you don't just eat it right away. You actually store it in your uh, in your briefcase. So I'm actually gonna buy a pizza right now because just in case I need it in a pinch, I can uh, just restore all my health right away. Mm, need ID, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I need ID here too, right? Yeah. So there's a porno shop and a gambling den over here. So. If I want to get an ID, I can actually do that really easily. I can just go to the police station and they, and then, uh, actually, you know, the funny thing is the basically only two ways to increase your, uh, your karma and decrease your karma in this game is to, uh, buy IDs. So if you want to increase your ID, you buy just a bunch of legitimate IDs from the police station. And if you want to decrease your karma, you want, you buy a bunch of fake IDs from this one guy in the back alley. That's at least what I remember. Oh, hello, sir. We're looking for someone to test our new products, but not just anyone. No, we need a really good person, someone with a lot of karma. 
My karma's super high. Not high enough, son. Ice cream tester requires 900 plus karma, and mine's at like what, 20? Yeah, it's at 20. <coughs> <coughs> no mind me, guys, I'm just dying over here. And you would think, like, okay, so they must give you a lot of money, right? No. They basically just want you to get your karma that high, and they gave you basically minimum wage. So yeah, just basically more healing station, healing foods. Let's go do a little more exploring, shall we? See, like the PlayStation right here. Okay, so uh, idea is one hundred seventy-five dollars here. And the thing is, like, actually fake IDs are more expensive than regular IDs, so, you know, if you just want to buy a fake ID, it would be just because, you know, you want to decrease your karma, just so you can, because, like, there's perks to having increased karma, and there's perks to having decreased karma, like, decreased karma helps you get bad jobs, like, you know, like, computer hacker or bounty hunter, and, uh, and good karma, like, helps you with uh, good jobs, like police officer or doctor, so... Yeah, I like to see if I join the squad. Sorry, but I can tell from looking at you that you won't pass the physical portion of the exam. You better hit the gym first. I require 75 strength and positive karma. Okay, I gotcha. So I think if you bring this guy drugs, he will uh, he will give you like uh, good karma. I think, or I don't know. I don't actually remember. I shot the sheriff, but I should have shot the deputy. <laughs> I shot the sheriff, but shoot the deputy. All right, so yeah, that's a song reference, obviously. Nigerian prince, Psst, you gotta help me get out of here. My fortune has been sized due to my current incar incarceration. I just need ten thousand dollars to post bail, and I promise to send you half of my sixty-three. I don't even know what number that is, to be honest. But yeah, I can then access from my Swiss bank account. I'd rather not. Please, my country and my people need me. <laughs> yeah. That's basically like every single spam message that you receive in an email from freaking... <laughs> <coughs> that you receive in your emails that say like, Yo, if you give me like a thousand dollars for my bail, I'll give you like half of my twenty thousand dollars that I have in my bank account. Only in this case, it's a ridiculously high number that normally no one would ever pay you, even if they... Did have it. Yeah, people who people who actually fall for those spam emails are stupid. No offense. Uh, a couple dozen should do it. Uh, blackjack dealer. Most of my coworkers go to stick bucks in the morning. I can't stand that place. What do you want? Coffee? Donut? What do you want? You want coffee? Good coffee I make for you. What do you want? Mm. You know, I'll buy me a coffee and donut. Oh, I'm one dollar short. I'll be right back. Stick bucks. I need to work so I can pay for my donut. Can I ask for a promotion? You can be asking for more money already. You need to work here longer if you want more dough. Promotions are based on work experience. Okay, so you basically have to work here more if you want to make more money. That's okay. So, and some jobs also require like certain things in order for you to get a a promotion. Like in this case, you just had to basically work there longer in order for you to uh, <coughs> in order for you to uh, get a promotion. Some cases you need to increase your stats and you know things like that. Hello, Earthling. I have traveled many light years to reach your planet of puny ant people. We have come to harvest your oxygen and feast upon unhashed human eggs. Your pitiful cries will bring no mercy. Fair enough, friend. Goodbye. I'd like to buy you a donut, and I am broke. I have four dollars in my bank account. Ah, that was good. Ugh, I really need to get my identification cards so I can, you know. Uh. Well, I need ID to enter the bar, huh? I need. Yeah, I, that's why I need my ID so I can just go to every place on the map. X-Gen Studios, every other game website blows. 
Yes, it's Section Studio, the gaming website with the lean and pros. Sick RPG, an awesome game in 2D. Sick RPG 2, never gonna happen. Oh, boo hoo. Sick Arena Ballistic, if it was gone, we would miss it. Defend your castle, DYC, the greatest game ever. And now on we, Action Studios, every other game website blows. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm broke. I can hear J change jiggling in your pocket, El Cheapo. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, fine. I'll throw $25 in the hat. Thanks for the pocket, Lint. Yeah. How do you like that, huh? Told you I didn't have any money, but you didn't believe me. Just finished class for the day. Let's see. So yeah, this is where you come if you want to uh, increase your intelligence. I'm actually not sure what the difference here is between uh, the university gym and the uh, the main gym. Because they cost the same. So class is no longer in session. You have to come here in the morning in order to in order to uh in order to take classes. So yeah, if you want to uh how do you oh no no yeah you buy a you buy apartments from uh the bank from what I remember. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the this part of the city so far. Actually, let me see how much time has passed, to be honest. Alright, so... We're gonna work for a little bit more... Actually, what's in this house over here? Hello, ladies. How are you? Fantastic. Where are you? You're in an RPG in some creepy basement with a sick man in your... With a, with, with a sick man your man could smell alike. Look down. Back out. What's in your hand? It's a mouse. Look again. The mouse is now next to a keyboard. Anything is possible when you smell like a man and not a lady. I'm not on a horse. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the old spice guy, but I could be wrong. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, I don't know what's going on. My throat is killing me. Extra, extra, read all about it. Fossilized biblical fox hawk on earth. Yeah. Uncovers trendy hairstyles of early civilizations. Now, I'm actually gonna open up a can of soda from my mini refrigerator over yonder. Yeah, that's right. In case you didn't know that, uh, I had a mini refrigerator. Oh, there goes my phone. I just my phone off. Hopefully that cherry Pepsi will make my cough go away because quite frankly I don't want to just I don't want to die on while recording a video from a cough. That would have been You guys might become depressed if that happens. Actually I don't need I don't need to sleep just yet. I actually have plenty of time to still work. So I can still go to the sick bucks and work. There's also a McDonald's that I can apply for or er, in this world, a mix sticks. That I could probably get a job for if I applied there also. The manager caught you texting, and I got minus three intelligence. That's awesome. Yeah, nothing much is happening. Can I work more? I can. I can work till 1.44. Can I work again? Oh, I'm working till 3 a.m. Yay. No, 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 I can't work anymore. Can I get a promotion, though? Yay, I can... I worked long enough in order for me to get a promotion. Now I get $7 an hour. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to fight the West Side Gangsters right now. I'm moving along. Oh, what are these guys? What's up, Junior? Canyons are loaded. You ready to tag something? So yeah, you can get paid to be a tagger. You lack that certain swagger we're looking for. Graffiti artist requires 35 charm. Alright. <laughs> nice. Patience is not a virtue virtue here, son. Time is always of the essence. The 5 to 0 are like a plague. Oh, the mini gang wars are just causing the city to go to shit. 
And that's no joke. Yay. I slept for four hours. And this is the X Gen Studios, I guess. The X, X Gen Studio headquarters. And for those of you who don't know this, I should have probably actually mentioned this while I was, uh, while uh, that guitar guy was singing. Uh, X Gen Studios are, is the maker of Stick RPG, Stick RPG 2, uh, and uh, more games. I think that, yeah. What, what am I saying? The, stick, the freaking guitar guy was singing about it. I don't know. Hey man, what's shaking? Hey Sky, how about a job? I'm not sure you're X Gen material. Come back when you have a bit more experience. Video game designer requires 40 intelligence and 20 charm. All right, fair enough. I'm pretty sure these uh, the people here uh, are actually based off of the actual uh, makers of this game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, I'm new here. Alright, so what shall we do today? I guess we'll explore the other side of the map, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah you guys don't know this yet, huh? Uh, I, uh... I beat this game already, but I have not explored the director's cut yet. So, everything like on the very other side of the map, uh... It will be completely new to me. Welcome to New Lines Incorporated, a large faceless corporation with an average size faceless employees. How can I help you today? I would like a job, uh, sir. Wow, we hire almost anyone but you. You, sir, are a few fruits short of a basket. Or something like that, anyways. Corporate zombie requires 25 intelligence. What? How much intelligence do I have? 17. Ugh. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna get another job at McDonald's. And all this just so I can pay for a goddamn ID. Hello. Dude, what, what happened to the last set of wheels I gave you? Whatever. I guess that was in the 2D world. Just bring me a porn video this time and I'll give you a new skateboard. My new skateboard. Aren't you supposed to be in school right now? So is your mom. <laughs> uh, I thought I killed you the last game. Whatever. Owner Doug. I got connections. Connections to what you ask? To the finest milk this dimension has to offer. I want to bring back door to door milk delivery with this stuff. But I need an early morning delivery guy. What say you? I want to be a milkman. Holy crap! What the hell do I even have that freaking. Whatever, $13 an hour, I'll take it. Another day, another leader. You're kidding, right? You knew the arms couldn't handle it. So, I need... Okay, so I guess my strength is high enough to get me a job here. And yeah, I have to be here early in the morning in order for me to continue the milk job. This hot dog looks old, older than you. So yeah, eating this actually gives you minus health. So, you know. Rad Bull. This label contain reads, contains as much caffeine as 96 cups of coffee. Not recommended for human consumption. Yeah, no. <laughs> I 
All right, so here's the mega sticks. Go ahead of me, bro. I don't know what I want yet. Mega sticks has an excellent employ. It has excellent employee benefits such as bathroom breaks. Oh, and five percent off food during your shift. I'm looking for a job. So you want to help us make butt loads of cash by dishing out heart disease to our unsuspecting customers? Okay, you're hired. <sighs> Alright, let's just get this done. The manager commented on how clean your uniform is looking. Everyone loves a neat and tidy employee. Yes, they do, man. Yes, they do. You broke up a fight in the a food fight in the dining room. Way to keep the peace, chief. You have ketchup and special sauce all over you. <laughs> Plus five strength, minus five charm. Flip burgers all day long. Yay. I will eventually get that ID card. Let me get a promotion. I guess you've proven yourself worthy of a promotion. Don't make me regret my decision. Tr Cheddar Shredder, yay. Another grease build nightmare. Keep working. What? I stayed up till 3 a.m. the last time. Alright, fine. You disgust me. Oh. oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna focus on that later. I'm gonna go home and uh, take me a little sleepy sleep, and yeah, that'll be enough. Actually, let me see if I can. Nah, I have 54 health. Wait a minute, does, he does sleeping not give you health in this game? <coughs> This is the same guy from the Make the Sticks. Hey, can I become a drug dealer? Beat Punk. I need way more badass. 75 intelligence, 60 strength, and negative karma. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so, uh. Let me see. Does sleeping actually give you health in this game? It gives you five health. Okay, wait a minute. I think actually if you buy a a bed from the furniture store, it actually gives you uh, more health. You guys are probably thinking, you can buy a bed? You can go to the furniture store? What's all this? Uh, you haven't shown us yet, Firefly, and I, I know. I'll, I'll try to get to that in the next episode, but like a, a lot of time has already passed, so I need to end the episode right here. Otherwise, you know, lots of rendering time and, you know, Stuff like that, which complicates the hell out of you guys. But hey, eh, it's it, it it'll, it'll be it'll be worth it in the next episode. Trust me, guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Stick RPG Two, and I hope you guys come back for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. It really means a lot to me. But other than that, that's this video. This is Firefly signing off. And until next time, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.